Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we're going to discuss the workflow for assigning a column cap plate connections within RAM connection standalone. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application. And as you can see, I've already created a column cap type joint within our sample model. This joint must resist both shear and moment reactions imposed upon them. Now for this particular video, we are going to be assigning a column cap plate. A column cap plate in RAM connection standalone is a combined connection, so it can resist both the shear and the moment reactions that are being imposed upon this joint. Now to assign a column cap plate, you can either assign it directly through the templates area or through a basic connection workflow. To use the basic connection workflow, go to the design tab of your ribbon toolbar and click on your assign icon. Here we're going to go to our basic connection option and we're going to be looking for cap plate. After the connection is assigned, we can confirm the operation by clicking close. Now during a basic connection workflow, RAM connection is searching through a list of predefined templates that will satisfy both the joint data and the loading that are present in the joint that you have. Now after a connection is assigned, the first thing you're going to do is take a look in your joint selection area. This will show you the status of your connection design. My interaction ratio is less than 1.0, and my indicator light is in green, meaning that it has passed all code check requirements without producing any errors or warnings. Now, if I'd like some additional information regarding this connection design, or possibly to customize the connection design for my detailing requirements, I can go to the connection pad. To access the connection pad, click on the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then select the combined connection type. Now while you're in the connection pad, you can review the results and also customize the connection if you choose. For customizing the connection, let's take a look at a few of the options that we have available to us in the cap plate section. Here you can see you can customize your thickness and material of your cap plate. You can also customize the type of bolts that are being used along with the whole type. In addition to that, you can also add some transfer stiffeners if you felt like you needed some additional capacity. And you can also ask to create a built-up section. Now, for this particular model, the default or the, the connection that was assigned during the connection designing process does work. So I'm not going to make any customizations here. I am interested in viewing some of the calculations, however. So to do that, let's go ahead and click on the results icon in the ribbon toolbar. And I can scroll down. I can see all the geometric considerations and design checks that are performed for a column cap plate. If I would like some additional information, I can click on the view formulas icon to see all the formulas and variables that were used to arrive at these results. The last thing I'm going to take a look at is my DXF view. So every connection within your RAM connection standalone model will have a DXF view. You can customize this DXF and you can export it for your detailing purposes. Now at this point I didn't make any changes so I can feel free to just close out of the connection pad. If you had made changes go ahead and click save and then come back and your interaction ratio will be updated to reflect the changes that you made. Now at this point, this concludes my process for assigning a column cap plate. This is a combined connection type that's available in RAM Connection Standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.